It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live for this morning from Swamico with the tortoises. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning. Well, we're inside the tortoise shelter. Of course, with the weather the way it's going to be today, uh, the tortoises will be remaining inside this shelter. Now, this is the old building, the old tortoise shelter. And what we did is last Friday, we moved them out because the weather was warming up. So we wanted them to get out so they can enjoy the sunshine in the outside exhibit until their new exhibit is finished. And in the eight o'clock hour, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the new exhibit, kind of where we're at. You'll find it very, very interesting. Uh, so. The one thing though with our tortoises, they can't go outside unless the temperature is above 60 degrees. So, so you know what? it's been kind of if a rough spring in, for them. <laughs> well, it certainly has. And like I said, we finally moved them over, you know, to their, you know, their old uh, summer home. But I'm thinking they're going to have a little cabin fever setting in today. <laughs> and I know if I had to stay in here all day too, I would too. But the one thing we do have uh, in here, if they do have to stay out, or stay inside this particular uh, building. Uh, and you'll be amazed the size of this compared to the, the new exhibit and everything. But what we do is, you know, we've got full spectrum lighting and that of course also helps with them from a health standpoint. And then in here, you know, see our tortoises are brought in every night. You know, and that's just simply because one of the things we want to make sure that they're safe and secure in that, at night. You know, we've got raccoons, a lot of other animals that, you know, live out and around this area. They're out and about throughout the zoo. And in addition to that, we've got heat lamps. So there's two separate heat lamps so they can both get underneath the heat lamps. We have two separate heaters in here set at different uh, heat points out here. And that's to try to keep this uh, inside building roughly around 78 degrees to 80 degrees. We also do, like say if it was in the middle of the night and uh, something went on, whether you know it was getting too hot or too cold, you can see we have an alarm system. The alarm system right here, you know, we've got a gauge that goes, we set an upper and a lower temperature. So the alarm would go off, we'd get called, and we could come out here and address that situation. But these guys with their new, the, the real cool thing is with the new exhibit, we're really going to focus in on educating you about the shell. And as you can check these guys out, I mean, look at the size of these. You got Al and Tootie. You know, Al, he's, I'm thinking he's probably right around 450 pounds. She's probably close to about 340, somewhere in there. Uh, but the shells that they carry on them uh, is, you can take a look at this is there's it's really a fusion underneath there of uh, many bony plates roughly about 50 and then on the top we call this the carapace and then this line underneath here divides to the plast plastron now the carapace has scoots the, we call these like these plaques here are scoots and you can see there's kind of like growth rings and you'll actually even see that on the new exhibit too. So, you know, we're going to educate you about that. But these growth rings or these scoots, they don't fit right over where all the bony plates underneath are fused. And that's just so that you can go ahead and have more support to the structure of the shell. They're kind of shifted over. But they have 38 on the top, about 12 to 14 below. And this material here is the same, it's keratin. It's the same as our fingernails, a horse's hoof, uh, very similar to that. And it does produce growth rings. Now, you know, you think you can go ahead and take a look at the growth rings with uh, age, but that's usually not an indicator as well either. But uh, it is very interesting with these guys. And the thing is, is they have the same amount of scoots as when they're born, they just get a little bit bigger. Cool. All right, Neil, thanks, and we're looking forward to seeing their new home and the progress there. It sounds good. See ya.